Hello guys, and in this video we're on to MC Prison again. We're going to head over to Atlantic. Um, in this video we're going to be talking about like ways to make fast money, good money. Um, and one of the main ways is crates. Crates are overpowered. Crates give you keys. You can sell the keys and make more money, or you can risk it for the biscuit and you can get beacons and sell those beacons. You can get e-tokens. And that's just pure money. You can get ranks and sell ranks. Ranks sell for a lot on this server, guys, because everybody wants a rank because ranks come with benefits like kits. Okay. Next, we are going to head over to slash PvP. Okay, now that we're at PvP, um, we're going to talk about what's here. So there are beacons here. You know there are beacons here. Beacons... You want to mine those beacons, there's a bunch of these beacon spots. And if you've been playing for a little, then you know that there's something in these things called outposts. Outposts give you buffs. They are really good. You have to stand here for a while to capture them. I have already captured it just for the point of the video. So, the beacon, there are three outposts. Beacon outpost gives you double beacons. E-token outpost gives you, like, a better rate of E tokens, I believe it's double, and then path outpost. I do not know much about path outpost. And so, what I do after I catch the capture the beacon outpost, guys, is I just head over here to this mine, and I start mining it. Um, a really good thing is to get to the top. You can either mine steps up to the top, or if the bottom's almost completely mined out, you can mine up the um, whole bottom, and then you'll like glitch up to the top. So you guys can just see, you normally get two, I got four. That's the power of this outpost. So it gets you beacons two times the speed. Like, that's really good. I uh, don't know how, any other way to put it. But he, I also already mined a little bit of steps. I forgot about that. And so you get this. I already have 20, 20 beacons. Okay? I already have 20 beacons. So say someone's coming, guys and you're up on the top. What you want to do if someone's coming is you want to run and you want to get up here. They might realize that you have been mining here for a while so they're coming to kill you to get your beacons. So if that happens you come up here and you do slash plot. Slash plot is going to bring you, it's going to keep, you're going to keep all your beacons, you're going to keep the control of the outpost if you still have it and it's going to save your beacons. So now that you have those beacons um, you're going to want to do slash spawn, and slash spawn, you're going to want to come over to the banker, withdraw. 1,000 beacons is the minimum beacons you can do. You guys don't have to withdraw beacons. You could technically use them for robots if you're more of a casual player who doesn't care about the money. They just want to come on, have some fun, but not have to worry about all the money, because you can get with beacons you can do slash buff slash buffs brings you here and you can buy robots robots work on their own to make you free money but say you don't or you are more than a little bit more than a casual player and you want to get through this really fast you want a lot of money you can do slash age sell and then do e tokens i always write that spell e tokens and then 20 million is the going rate for 1k um, beacons, and then you do one because there's one bank now. Once you do that, you've successfully put that successfully put that on AH, and so now that's on AH, it's going to sell eventually, and that is going to sell for 20 million, and 20 million is insanely good. So you have 20 million, right? And hypothetically, I do also. You'll want to do either rank up to better your mind, which you will eventually want to do. Or you're going to want to do enchant. Enchant will be here. If you're only going for beacons, guys, I would get beaconator, haste, and efficiency. But eventually, you guys will always want to be able to mine at your mine. But your mine will have to be good for you to mine there. So maybe it is a good idea to mine beacons, but it's very slow. If you just want to mine at your mine more often than not, I would still suggest going for beacons every once in a while because it is a fast and good way of making money. But 
there's the e-token outpost there always capture an outpost if possible but you want to get e-token master you want to get explosive you want to get a laser you want to get jackhammer you want to get one tsunami at least just so you have that small chance of it working you want to get haste you want to get efficiency and so that will make you mine extremely fast if i go to my mine guys i've upgraded it a bit you can see it's really good i make about 10k per auto cell but i am rank 31 see from that little bit i just made 44.5k <laughs> and so with that um sorry about that um now that you have this money you're just gonna mine here okay if you can get it to a good enough level that you're making a lot of money per an auto sell like I I would still want it higher before I only mined here but you mine here and you get a bunch of money but I want better you would want better before um actually like only mining here because you're not gonna make that much money um, and then another way to make money, guys, is slash p mine. Slash p mine. Um, you can go to other people's mines, but I wouldn't suggest that. You you can um, um, go here and uh, always have your mine open. Sales tax always set to one because this will allow people to come in, and then you will get the sales tax for this. Okay, you'll get what they're selling or what's there. You'll get like 1% of it, which is actually a lot if you think about it. I just made 10k from a cell. 1% of 10k is 100. Yeah, 100. Say they mine here for 30 minutes. That will add up over time and you will make a boatload of money. But it's not always per. The people won't always mine at your mine, guys. It's not definite that they will. So don't count on it. And so that's basically the video, guys. What um, we're gonna go over what we talked about. So we talked about beacons. You can sell beacons on age. We talked about how to get beacons, either from crates or from mining them in PvP or from slash robot. Forgot to mention that. We talked about outposts. You want to get an outpost as often as possible, um, just because of the buffs they give you. Um. And then we talked about selling stuff on an H. We talked about how you want to get your mine completely leveled up so that you can eventually mine here because mines are good if you can get them to a high enough level. Um, that's basically the end of the video. If you're interested where my channel is going, you can stay tuned for a second. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about it. Um, but if you're not, um, thanks for watching. If this was informant, informative leave a like and subscribe for future content okay guys so for my channel i am going to be starting a multiplayer survival with some of my friends it's don't get worried i am still going to be doing building content i have been thinking a lot i had like four ideas guys i made i made the buildings i made four different designs guys probably more than that to be honest and none of them looked good. I found a couple patterns that I might use in future builds, but nothing looked actually something that I would want to post. But there are more building tutorials coming. Just want to stretch that. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna be to have videos coming out every once in a while. I'm gonna be coming. I'm gonna continue playing that multiplayer. I'm gonna start playing that multiplayer survival. And it should be fun, guys. Um, it's another multiplayer survival, but I'm trying to think about some more twists that I could add to it to make it more fun for you guys to watch. That's something different than everybody else's. So um, if you've watched this far, type coconut into the comments so I know I'm doing something right. And um, thanks for liking my channel. Have a good day.